Hi Aries and welcome to your June uh, reading. So this is a little bit different. I'm going to go right in it including shuffling in front of you so my apologies. I just really want to because there are some people who oh my gosh if you don't shuffle they'll call your names and whatnot. So guys this is the name of the game. This is a general reading. In a general reading, um, you don't get 100% of the messages. Sometimes you do. Sometimes, like, that simply are just being channeled through me. But any message that you get, that means it's meant for you. So, think about it. This is not an entertainment tarot channel. You have many of those quote-unquote fortune tellers. This is simply uh, me trying to give you all the messages that I get. And if you just happen to be here, um, then you're kind of like receiving that from basically medium that is here just to communicate it for you. So let's start with this, Aries. Um, make sure to subscribe, make sure you like and share because that helps and it helps you to remember. I had a few people saying, I saw stuff and I, I know that I kind of like watched this and I was trying to remember what it was. And she said, I had to look through my history in order to find out. So. It's kind of like it's really weird. Sometimes it can come to you later. So you have Ten of Cups. You have High Priestess. Ooh, so far so good, I really have to say. And then you have Six of Swords, Aries. Ten of Cups tells me that you're in a space where you are very comfortable about who you are and where you are in a relationship, right? Let me just try to put it a little bit closer to you. Maybe this way. Um... In this particular deck, which I love, we do not see um, the family dancing around, we do not see the rainbow, rather we see the tree actually giving these basically 10 cups, like almost like, um, like a result of a hard labor that has been uh, placed into it, right? It's a culmination of something, it's almost like if she's saying, hi, honey, we, we are already over, I love you, but now she's saying to him, I'm pregnant, and um, they are already looking at one baby, maybe expecting another one. So there is like this sort of like something else is happening out of, out of kind of like that initial spark. So this is kind of taken to the next level. So it is a fulfillment. It is a happiness. It is a kind of like some kind of like abundance, right? So this is now being coupled with High Priestess. Maybe you're just simply entering a new stage. High Priestess is generally always making us think, right? Uh, she corresponds to Moon. In the other decks, we see her keeping a crescent moon under her feet, right? So this card represents enlightenment and it represents vision and wisdom. There's like a person that would be your tarot reader who is between um, two worlds and she kind of like has that uh, feminine spirit. There's like somebody who is guiding that unconscious, right? And it is really the women who are really better at that. I know that some men are doing a relatively good job, but you know, I, I have to tell you that in my experience, I didn't find many men who who really kind of like are able to roll up their sleeves and kind of like go forward. One of ex great exception is John Edwards. He is that famous medium and he's doing a really, really tough work uh, speaking to the dead. So there is like somebody here, um, maybe it's going to be in your life or it's going to be you that is going to turn you inward, is going to turn you to your own wisdom, to listening to your own feelings. Maybe, you know, sometimes people are very expressive, especially if you're an extrovert. Everything is out in the open, you really like to share it with the other people. But what if you're not? What if, if you need some time to process your own thoughts, to process everything that was going on, right? In that particular case, um, maybe it would make sense because Six of Swords that we are seeing over here is, is really talking about solution. It's almost like there's like something else. Let's say, I'll give you an example. You're a guy and, you know, there is this girl you're with and now you got a baby and everything was okay until the baby came out and then... You know how they say guys get it not while you're pregnant but only basically later right so there is like now that realization oh my god it is real 
it is really really happening oh my god and this is me it's extension of me like that kind of like ability to finally get it i'm part of that something really big and universal right and so hence the six of swords can represent some kind of like solutions and some kind of transitions and kind of security right six of swords is always like okay getting out of you know um confusion fives are very unstable six are actually going into stability this doesn't mean that everything is resolved doesn't mean that you are there but this is like when we say okay this is new plan let's go in that new direction and let's see where it takes us okay you are having cards jumping i think this was the other way around <laughs> it's interesting enough it's exactly the same it is like 10 of c or 10 of cups and it, look at what the difference is between him her and the baby to now we have everybody joining the festivities look at that a mother and a father and a whole bunch of kittens it's just like what a joy right and I think that's the mother on the top, father on the bottom, but I might be wrong. In any case, this kind of like really looks to be almost like perfect and idyllic um, kind of like situation. And then you have the Empress. An Empress and the High Priestess, I'm just telling you right now, if you're pregnant, um, you don't know what the gender is, most likely it's going to be a daughter. Some of you might be pregnant without realizing that. And uh, the Empress is really, <laughs> really talking about, look, similar situation. Um, you are now fully enjoying motherhood. You are fully enjoying this completely new space where you arrived. You maybe some people are just all their lives, they kind of like since they're little girls playing with the dolls thinking, oh my gosh, I really want to be a mother. But the Empress doesn't necessarily always talk about um, just just basically delivery of a child especially if you already had kids and you go oh my gosh kid what are you talking about i want to have a child right kind of a thing the empress can talk about finally getting to the stage where we want to become more than we are it is like when the creative button is pushed when all of a sudden whether or not because of somebody else in our life or because we reach the level of the creativity and security that we are kind of like feeling really really better right going in that direction so it is really uh, interesting because the empress is ruled by venus which kind of like is the uh, manifestation so that's why many many times you can hear oh the mother right but she's also writing so if you are for example writing and painting or you know expressive work visual work you know so if you, even even if you're in the business or something, the most boring thing, and you have to come up with a solution, and you have been going the same old, same old, and all of a sudden something clicks and you come up with something else, you're going to shine. So this actually also, if, if you know, current love is of no interest to you, this would mean actually feeling respected and, and feeling successful at work, feeling that you're kind of like reaping some kind of like accolades, right? But also feeling that you, realization, that you have arrived to that baby like yourself right this is also reconnection with the natural world and nourishment of everything that we have so it could be like I mean that you're going to let's say say oh my dining table oh you know the kitty cats like I mean walk taller right maybe I can sand it and kind of like really uh, paint it all over like I mean and kind of like create something else or you might paint uh, an accent wall or you might just like have a different hairdo that is kind of like going to feel luxurious and it doesn't have to be that you're going to spend an arm and a leg it could be just something like that you can really do like prepare yourself the most gorgeous bubble bath right it's, it's a little pink and it's with the lights and the candles and the music and you feel as a queen for a day many times in this life i remind myself that we all live like queens and queens kings and queens queens and queens kings and queens rather do you know that like i mean kings would get the stones something like this they used to believe this heals and it does heal but not if you ingest it it does heal because you have to connect to its spiritual powers right and do you know that the healing here uh, was happening 
uh, but they would grind it and make them drink it. So of course, they really didn't live very long after that. Or if they had really, really good stomach, maybe they would survive it, right? And we have better food. We have better offers. We have better access. We have better communication. And not to mention, like, our homes are actually much nicer and more beautiful than most of these kind of like castles like in the 15th or like I mean 14th, 15th, 16th century. So keep that in perspective. That's even when we think it's really bad, like what we have is like way better than like I mean 95% of the world, right? So enjoy your little kind of like a corner of luxury because this luxury can really carry you through this entire month. And then again, there is like this... Um, I don't know if it's a solitude or, or should I say, um, kind of like introspection that really keeps being a theme over here. I don't know if you're dealing with maybe Libra, Virgo or um, Taurus, which can be indicated over here, or you're simply kind of like looking for that truth, looking for that wisdom. Like, and if, <laughs> if you cannot find it, it's going to hit you like a two by four. And I know that you're like, I mean, really fast moving sign. You really want what you want. You kind of like really push it through it. Yeah, but this is going to be being calm and being reflective. And you will really have to make sure. And maybe this simply, simply tells me you will take a weekend being on a lake and kind of like remove yourself from this hustle and bustle. And then all of a sudden the solution will start coming up, right? Do not let yourself be distracted because if you get ability to have that time for yourself to look into simply just, you know, something mundane and that's when it happens. That's what Einstein always said. That he was just a regular administrator in the patent office just because, however, he was doing very mundane things, put the stem here, sign here his big part of the brain was emptied so he can actually have this access to the creativity and that's really how it happens all right so let's get a few more cards over here so you have five of wands which in my opinion this always talks about need for repositioning and this is always the case whether or not we are doing well or we are not doing well in this particular deck it's even better portrayed oh my gosh you're getting eight of cups here it is simply telling you uh, to summarize this month is like almost glorious you are like feeling like a pea in a pod it's no left or right way of saying this right um if something or somebody comes in the way you're going to say ah, buzz off right look at us everybody has their own space everybody has kind of like um their game their game is on and it almost looks like friendly almost looks like it's it's really cool you're not kind of like pushing things to go too far sometimes in life this really has to happen sometimes we are afraid of saying no sometimes we are afraid of saying you know uh because we are afraid we are going to lose something if we do that, right? But this card reminds us that, you know, everything in life is negotiation and renegotiation, right? So it can be also competition. You love competition. Maybe you're going to feel, okay, now I'm a mother, now I'm a father, now I'm going to the next stage. Uh, I'm feeling so good. So now I'm going to find your next goals and kind of like um, next kind of like a way of dealing with with yourself I really am feeling honestly that there is like a new level of maturity you are no longer going to put up with things that that were just mundane that kind of satisfy you that were just kind of ordinary you are now going to get a flavor for the extraordinary right and it's going to be complete clarity and that's why you have page of swords right it's going to be curiosity and and it's going to kind of like almost like your mind is going to work 24 7. Mm -hmm. you're going to get a taste in the first part of the month it's going to be calm and uh, emotionally fulfilling atmosphere but you are going to also be very protective of it protective of you protective of your family protective of your loved ones if you guys are alone and you really want to meet somebody well, this is going to be a really good month to reposition who you are. 
Maybe you have been hoping for this kind of dream. But instead of this dream, maybe people who you dated so far、um, that appeared made you question if you're ever going to get there. Well, this is now reassurance to keep going. This reassurance is saying, look, you need to redefine better who you are. You have been settling for the things that you shouldn't be settling. Because this is why the Eight of Cups shows up. Eight of Cups always shows up to tell us, why are you not trying to go for the ultimate? Why aren't you trying to get everything? Are you having everything that you need, right? Sometimes people abandon you in this situation and we feel sorry because we feel left behind. Sometimes we abandon them, right? There could be sometimes loss of interest, withdrawal. But this is telling you look, whatever it is, Whoever you need to leave behind, it could be that there is a choice that you have to pick one choice in order for, or, or just like give something up in order to gain something. I had this conversation with my brother who is extremely happily married and who is actually Aries. And he said, Well, isn't that, you know, sacrifice? Isn't that having family the kind of like the h- hard work you need to go through it? the Ultimate reward. The ultimately, you're doing that because something is created to make you more fulfilled and stronger, but not only you and everybody else in the process, right? And then everybody else, as they are coming on board, let's say one child, two children, and they're becoming part of that well oiled machine, and that's how it grows. And this is how I think the empires started, and especially if you guys are going to do a business. Or you're doing business something that maybe has to do with something doing at home, such as, I don't know, babysitting, pet sitting, or anything to do with the luxury decoration, jewelry making, something creative. It's going to be really,、uh, especially if, if females are your clients, it could be perfumes and that kind of stuff. It's going to be very, very successful this month. You might be actually even thinking how to go to the next level. So、let's see the mystery card. Whoa, miracle! This card is to me more about integrity than anything else because these chakra cards have these storylines, and I think this is really talking about a town where everybody was a liar, and I had no problem with everybody lying until、uh, one day a little girl was I, I don't know, like, I, I believe the story was about she was returning a change. In a store, and it was like too much money, more money than she should get. And she goes, Oh, lady, you gave me too much money. And whoosh, like you get this coming out, out of this kind of like really old, old, you know, oak tree from the stump. It's like, Oh my God, what happened? Well, what happened was, you know, that, you know, it was shining because of the miracle that happened, that this kind of like city that was almost turning dark because everybody was outlying everybody. There is no pretending anymore. There is like no outdoing any- anymore. There is like no more pain if you are willing to speak about it, if you really think about it, right? So there is like possibility of getting this pleasure. So it's almost like talking about the ultimate kindness. And kindness leads to integrity, and integrity leads to miracles, right? So you have to ask yourself Am I kind? And how can I get kinder? And who in my life is going to benefit of even the smallest thing I can do a nice smile on a nice word, right? So, can you guys be counted on? Because I think there are going to be lots of existential questions over here because you will be called to be、um, the light for somebody else. You will, you will be getting、um, ability to r e a p Some kind of like rewards for literally doing the right thing. So, do the right thing, Aries, and everything else, the road is going to open up for you. You will need to travel a different road. The decision, it might feel a little bit solitary that you're doing, but you will know the reasons why you're doing that, and you're not going to have any other way. So, if you guys are with someone, it's going to make you stronger. It might be redefinition of how it's being done. If you guys are looking for somebody new, this month m- might be more of a month where you need to put yourself on a pedestal and say, okay, 
let's look myself naked in a mirror <laughs> all scary scary thoughts right but let's kind of like talk about it and kind of like see who I really am if I cannot love myself why is that because sure nobody else will and I would always feel like I'm p playing poker with sweaty palms if I do not resolve that or I have such beautiful parts about me and these parts don't have to be physical beauty because we live in really kind of like artificial, artificial, <laughs> superficial and artificial is superficial uh, society and we, you might be deciding, not, not me, I'm not part of it, nope, not anymore, off you go, everybody goes and hence you will need to kind of cut some people off i think or something is not going to be the way it started but it's going to be for the much better good so enjoy your month aries would love to get your comments if this resonated with you please make sure to subscribe share and like and until the next time please check my facebook check my instagram and check my twitter all the best love you guys